Welcome back to Detail Garage. So today we're continuing with the Super Detail and now it's time for us to clean these wheels. Now these wheels aren't necessarily dirty but they are grimy, meaning they have a lot of contamination embedded within them. Um, over the years, you know, it has a lot of brake dust that has been building up onto the wheel surface and into the barrel of the wheel. And also one thing to notice is that these wheels do have a polished lip. So these lips are very sensitive and prone to scratching. So today we're going to be cleaning it and polishing these wheels. So we're going to be cleaning it using decon. Now decon is an iron decontaminator so which means is uh, we're going to spray it on it's going to go on clear it's going to turn purple. When it turns purple that means it's picking up a lot of the iron particles embedded within the wheel surface itself so it's going to be picking those up out for us and once we wash it off it's going to finish off nice and clean and then afterwards we're going to be polishing this lip here using light metal polish. Now light metal polish is a nice polish to get these uh, chrome lips uh, polished up without harming the surface. It doesn't have too harsh of an abrasive to be causing any more damage onto the uh, polished lip. It's just going to get it nice and shiny as well as it's going to protect it from any kind of uh, corrosion or any kind of uh, water that's going to be making its way into the wheel. So it's a very good product to be using on polished surfaces such as this. To use Decon is pretty simple. Spray the entire wheel, caliper, Spray the lug nuts. Make sure you get into every crack and crevice from every angle. All right. So once you get into every surface on the wheel, you want to let this sit for about three to five minutes. Um, it's going to start turning purple, as you can already see. Certain parts of it are turning purple already. So we're going to wait for three to five minutes. Let this sit, do its magic, and then we're going to come back and we're going to clean it off. So it's been four and a half minutes, and as you can see down here. There's a lot of purple drainage, a lot of nasty stuff that's been coming off these wheels, which is a good sign. It means that it is being decontaminated of iron particles. Uh, there's not as much on the face of the wheel. So it looks like it's a three-piece wheel, so most of the dirt and grime are coming up from the side, from these, uh, from these nuts right here. So uh, it seems like that's where a lot of the contaminants are coming from. Uh, it's a good sign. So now it's time for us to agitate using our wheel bucket. Now, I prepared this wheel bucket over here with one ounce of soap. Uh, doesn't matter what soap that you use. Uh, for this instance, I use Mr. Pink, so I'll use one ounce of Mr. Pink just to get suds to act as lubrication as I'm cleaning. And I'm gonna be using our wheel woolly. Now, the wheel woolly is perfect for this wheel because it's not gonna scratch the surface, it's not gonna scratch this polished lip. It's gonna get deep down into the barrel, clean the back of it, which is a very hard area to get otherwise. Um, wheel Willies does make a different, uh, different size brushes. Uh, they make the large one, the medium one, and a very small one. Uh, I think we're gonna be using all three. So the big one is pretty obvious. This one you use to get deep down into the barrel to really scrub the back of the wheel. It's usually a very hard part to clean. Since we split it with our decon, it's gonna be getting off a lot of stuff. Now notice I'm starting from the top, and as I'm starting from the top, you're gonna see a lot of drainage go down. So a lot of the soaps and suds that get on top of the wheel itself are gonna make its way down. So it's always a good idea to start from the top. So just dip it down into our bucket, go into a different spoke, and I'm just getting, I'm more concentrating on the barrel than anything else with this brush. Now this area is a little bit harder to get and that's where this brush comes in handy. This one is perfect for getting in back of the caliper. It's a very hard area to clean behind the wheel. Usually people have to, you know, move their car forward in order to get it with another brush. But since we have an assortment of brushes, it's pretty easy to get into it with these wheel woolies. And again, as I'm agitating, as I'm brushing, I am knocking off a lot of dirt. Uh, a lot more decon has started to run off. You see it's turning purple. It's a very good sign. And scrub the caliper itself as well. All right, now back onto our big brush. And finish off the other areas. You see I'm agitating a lot of the dirt that, a lot of this nasty muck that's getting in the back of the wheel that's just collecting back here. So I wanna be sure to agitate that just so I make sure I get that area. So this is a gerbil brush. This brush is perfect. It's very soft. It's not going to scratch. It's perfect for getting into these spokes right here to brushing up 
uh, these nuts that are getting this pretty grimy. Can polish a little bit of the lip. Now again, this is the perfect brush to be using in between spokes, especially for wheels like this. It's very sensitive, they can get scratched. This is perfect. Also it holds and it retains a lot of water. It's very soft, so it's gonna act more as a lubricant. The more soap, the more water I have on it, the better. And now it's time to move on to the face of the wheel. So I'll be using my green brush here. This is perfect for rubbing. And if I were to knock into it, this actually wouldn't scratch it, so it's fine if you knock into it. It's maybe something to watch out for, look out for, but if I do knock into it, it's not gonna scratch these wheels. Just wanna loosen up a lot of the dirt. Now onto the final step. This is our best detailing brush. So this brush right here is perfect for getting into these lug nuts right here and knocking off a lot of the loose dirt, a lot of the decon. Um, also, you can get into areas like this if you feel like you need to agitate them furthermore. And again, if I do knock into the wheel with this, because it's, it is a plastic handle, it's not gonna scratch it, it's not gonna damage it. Yeah, most of the dirt that's, that was embedded is very loose, so just go over it very quickly and it's coming all off. But uh, that just about does it, so now it's just time to rinse this down. All right, so now that the wheel is nice and clean, it's time for us to dry it. Drying it, I'm gonna use our green workhorse towels. Now these spokes are a little bit tricky, so you might have to uh, do a little finesse and put the microfiber towel in between just so you get all that residual, all that crud that's in between. All right, so it's a very important to, before you start polishing the lip that the lip is nice and dry. So now that the lip is nice and dry, it's time for us to start applying our light metal polish. Now the trick to using light metal polish is to use an applicator and you do not want to use that much product. The more product you use, the more you're going to have to work at it. You have to use a very small amount. So what you do is you start rubbing it on the area that you want to start working on. So again, you lightly work it in. And right now we're just applying it. We're not necessarily gonna be agitating. We're not gonna be buffing it off or anything. We're just applying it. And as you can see, it's creating a light haze, which is a good thing. And this is all the oxidation that was built onto this lip. So it's a good thing that we're gonna be removing that. Now what you do is you get your microfiber. I got a war course. We have a gray one for polishing any kind of metal any kind of chrome. And what you do is you start buffing off the haze that you got when applying it. And this is a part where you can apply a little bit of pressure. And you're not applying too much pressure. You're just, you know, working it in by hand, just working it back and forth. And as you can see, you're still getting off a lot of oxidation. But there's a noticeable difference between how it first started. Now, you are gonna get some areas like this where this is etched on there. That won't buff off. That's a common question that we get all the time. Can, how can I buff off any kind of stains or anything? This seems like it was some kind of acid stain right here, so they'd probably use a very abrasive uh, wheel cleaner, very corrosive, and it actually ruined the finish of this. Um, that's gonna have to get probably redone because it is worked in there, but you can see the area around that looks amazing. So as you can see, this wheel right here is nice and polished looking great. We removed a lot of oxidation. It's nice and smooth. We removed a lot of the iron that was embedded within it. So it's nice and smooth. It's not going to be oxidizing as fast as it used to be. It's ready for any kind of, you know, wheel guard or jet seal or any kind of protective that you want to put on this wheel on top of the light metal polish itself. Uh, light metal polish does have a protective agent, so we'll protect it from, you know, outside elements as well. So 
And this wheel looks a lot better than it first started. All right, so if you guys wanna know more about Decon or light metal polish, click the links down below. If you guys wanna see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you guys next time.